Also Fan TV, Bully, um, what did you make of it today? Rubbish. Well, well, it wasn't great. Refereeing wasn't great either. How, <laughs> how we uh, got a book in every time we put a tackle in. I must they, admit, they I've got to agree with you on that. I mean, the referee yeah. today seemed to be in on us a lot harder than them. Yeah, definitely. That's why he's known as Moron Mariner. Right. Uh, Stonewall penalty in the first half. Right. He didn't give it. But we've got to pick ourselves up and we've got to fight and keep fighting. Did you see a bit of fight today in the team? A little bit. Um, there was. Well, I think a lot of people are forgetting they are, they are a very good team, Man City. It's no given you're going to beat teams like this. Yeah, they're, mm. they're a fairly good side. They're not a great side, but uh, we we have put in performances where we can beat beat them. But mm. if we stand off of them at the edge of our 18-yard box and let them have the whole of the midfield to run around and put the ball wherever they want to, then we ain't going to come anywhere near them. We've got mm. a closed down press. They're from up north. They don't like thinking and moving quickly up north. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They like... <laughs> Hey, my brother lives up north. Well, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Bully, you know what? It's interesting. I was chatting to someone earlier. He yeah, said he don't want top four. Where do you stand on it? Do you, is it essential that Arsenal get into the top four this season? No, as I've said, I've said for a while now, the best thing that could happen to the club is for us not to even finish in a European place. Yeah. Why is that? Because then, without any like European campaign or anything we're not going to have that distraction yeah? yeah so then we can then turn around and go right concerted effort on the league title then if we don't do anything in the challenge for the league then we can then turn around and say right think <laughs> arson out Kronk yeah and all that lot, yeah I still think kronk has got to go anyway because no what about what about the manager I mean if he you know if these rumors about him the two partnering years, up with Vieira Burkamp would you have him still if Vieira was going to come here, he would have been here before. He wouldn't have gone to Man City. Yeah? Mm. Arsene doesn't like anybody that is going to question what he does. We've seen that over the years. Yeah? So I can't say, that's all paper talk, really. Mm. Um, Ar Arsene's going to come out before long. He's done the two year deal. That's going to happen. Yeah? Um, the only way is if we don't finish in the European place, then Kroenke might say, oh, you've not hit the target I've set you you've got to go but at the moment as a business he's hitting the target that he's been set by his boss and we all know that his boss in every other sporting club that he is involved with not one of the fans wants him there what we need to do is get Cronky out and get a football man into our club don't forget to buy the tune right now clash of the season available right now on all platforms all the money raised goes to the Cancer McMillan Trust. Make sure you do it right now. Man get militant, man get straight to the point, no holding back on Arsenal fan TV. Troops might call you a hand roll if you don't like it, don't watch it, that's easy. But I know they're watching. It's a new